Welcome back to Mobility Projects. We are at CrossFit New England. I don't know, is there something that says CrossFit New England somewhere? Oh, we're way in the corner. Way over in the corner. Home of the world champions of uh, CrossFit Games, is that right? That's True right. or false? That's right. Derek Mohammed, one of the members of the uh, illustrious team exercise and badasses. If you went, you didn't think it was possible to move that much weight that fast. James Hobart, this one's for you. Um, so these guys just torture me. They're like, hey, you know, I know it's 90 degrees and it's 90% relative humidity and we are standing all day doing a seminar, but we should go run the hill. So as we're running the hill, one of the things that happened is, what happened to your ankle a few years ago? We're on ankles now. Typical basketball type thing, rolled the ankle, broke it about 15 years ago, never really rehabbed it, still had a lot of scar tissue and bad mobility. So in spite of that, you're still pretty badass. Though. <laughs> Not at all. EC kicks my ass every day. That's true. She's a, she's she's a different cat. So she's on she's on the camera right now. What I want to talk about though is we've been talking about improving ankle range of motion and some of the impacts for athletes. But Derek correctly, having someone work on it to overcome that tight capsule, he's mobilizing it himself. We're talking about strategies, but I want to talk about something else today. When we talk about movement with our athletes, one of the things that's nice to understand is this notion of what I call the tunnel. And when we think about mobilizing, putting athletes in certain positions, who you are when you enter this tunnel, this loaded movement, um, kind of dictates the position you come out of the tunnel. So under load, in the middle of the squat, you really can't make big corrections. And so what we want to do is make sure that you've got good positioning going into the tunnel. And remember, positioning, mobility, is really just a synonymous for position. USIT, I went a little ATAX it. So one of the things we want to talk about is when we exit, we need to be in a better position. So when I jump and land, I want to be able to go to my next position. When I receive, I want to be able to then jerk from that good position. If I'm disorganized, I end up receiving disorganized, etc. It's easy to think about tunnel when we're kind of describing two distinct movement practices, pull and then push. But when we're in circular movements like running, right, or when some other movements, um, like swimming, sometimes it's difficult to see an end point. What ends up happening a lot is that when our athletes are having striking problems, we see running, running behind Derek, he knows that that ankle's a problem, he can squat with it straight, he starts to get under load, and that foot starts to turn out a little bit, he's aware of it. But one of the problems is that he's adjusting this, adjusting this, adjusting this, but we're not looking what's happening on the outside. So as he enters the tunnel, that's the foot strike, enters that swing, right, or he's, he's got the foot down, that's in the tunnel, and then what happens when he exits the tunnel is that he's missing internal rotation and extension, which is the tight closed pack position of the joint. So as he when it comes back, he's missing this position. Now as he swings around, he ends up back at the start, a foot strike, in a disorganized position. So one way to work on that, instead of obsessively trying to get the foot straight, we need to make sure we're understanding the movement. So in this position, it's really difficult for him to turn that around and get that organized versus having the foot internally rotated and being able. So here's what we're going to do to work on this. And you'll often see short hips, which is a break for short hips. It's one of the things we see in our pull-ups, relate to ankle problems. So here's what we're going to do for him today. Work on internal rotation extension. So look at that thing. Right into your, into your ghoulie there, which is a technical term for lower your, lower your shorts that hangs out with the two short guys. Okay, and I want you to stretch that as far as you can. Get 300 pounds. Come on, you're world champion! <laughs> now put that leg down. Oh, I see. He's a skinny world champion. Now, butt's got to be squeezed. And look what happens is that I want to work on internal rotation. So as a super friend, I'll just pick his foot up and internal rotate a little bit. That femur is now kicked in, he can squeeze his butt and press, and then there's another super friend that can work on that floss. So here's a simple idea to get him working on that position. And look, look what position the default angle is in. Isn't that interesting? It's externally rotated. Oh, good. Always be seeing everything. So how long does this end here? Two minutes. World record for friends, two minutes. It takes that long to make change. He's correctly pressing in. Now we have another approach about thinking about improving that foot strike. If I'm actually rotated, extended, and broken, there's no way I'm going to be able to come through that tunnel in a good position. Got to see the start and finish. Good job today. We'll see you guys tomorrow on Mobility Vlog.